You know what, what if I just YOLO in the middle straight away with this tank? It's not stupid if it works. I could YOLO in the middle straight away and then deal with the scouts. I'm fast enough to do it. Right? YOLO now and apologize later. <laughs> Alright, I can, I can definitely do it, because the tank is fast and has the camo, so... I knew I could get there. The question is, what do we do now? <laughs> if I get some spots here, that'd be lovely. Or do I get the spots there? That's the question. Remains to be seen if they have any tanks there. They have a rhyme metal here. Oh, they have a lot of shit here. <laughs> Chilling in the base. Let's pop this VK in the butt a little bit, huh? I guess I'll stay with the siege mode here. Gotta be a bit more accurate. Is he running away or just going up? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In any case, this is an extremely, extremely skill based thing. Like playing it like this, we're gonna have to do something in between E25 and STRV, you know? It's gonna be an extremely high skill based tank. If you wanna get some decent results out of it. I get shot by this Waffen trigger, but I don't think he's. Paying attention to me, is he? Where did you come from? It, it's a weird kind of aggression you're gonna have to like do with this thing. Damn, it's gonna have such a weird playstyle, holy shit. Like something in between E25 and STRV. It's gonna have an extremely weird playstyle. What the hell? Depression. Well, OP tank meets shitty tank. 
I'm expecting to lose to Ushito. I'm expecting. <sighs> Donk. Ah, oh, that would have hit. That would have hit. <clears throat> the camo is crap after shooting. It's normal. Dump, dump, dump. Oh my god, that was actually the ace tanker. The <laughs> That's what I had to do to get an ace with this. Jesus Christ, that's what I had to do to get a nice. Uh, wow. I had to like YOLO and spot and shoot and scoot and everything. Uff. Damn. Very low, like 1.2k, yeah. The requirements are extremely low for ace tanker, so... Okay, this is our ace tanker video. <clears throat> Where should I begin? I stick to my... Uh, <clears throat> to my... Uh, thoughts. I still think it's the worst tier 9 tank, to be honest. Yeah. I still think it's the worst tier 9 tank. This this is supposed to be something like in between an E25 and an STRV, but unfortunately it doesn't retain any of the strong points that either of those tanks have, right? So you can try to play it aggressive without using siege mode like now, but the gun depression is a real problem, especially because the tank wobbles a lot, you know? The tank is not stable, it really wobbles a lot back and forth. So you can use it without CG mode and have better DPM, but the aim time is going to be a little bit worse. The aim time is worse anyways in CG mode or outside. You can use it aggressive like this uh, without CG mode, or you can play it in CG mode where you get gun depression too. But the problem is you got two extra seconds more load time in CG mode. So... Yeah. I guess the tank can have good DPM if you don't use siege mode. But honestly, the gun is not reliable at all. Like the accuracy is not very good. Even when you use siege mode and you know, on the crosshair shrinks. The penetration is not reliable either, you know, it's kinda low caliber. And 268 APCR, like I'm bouncing a lot with this thing. Uh, I don't know, it's going to be a crazy high-skilled tank, right? Like, I would not recommend this tank unless you're Unicum or something. It is going to be very high-skilled, because you're going to have to play it like in E25 and an SDRV. And I don't just mean camping in a bush, you know? You, you got to play like an aggressive E25 and then... Aggressive SDRV, it's... <sighs> it's the worst tier 9 tank, honestly. It's not worth two tokens. And I think it's 27 or something. It's, it's, it's bad, like... The armor doesn't work at all compared to the STRVs. First of all, because you have this stupid, like, front plate. It's flat. It, it, it's 200 armored. Everything pens it. Everything. And it gets set on fire all the time if you get shot here. So you get shot, fire, fuel tanks, right? The fuel tanks are here for some reason. Secondly, you don't have uh, you don't have the the fences the STRVs have that protects you from heat and high explosive, you know? So even if you angle this tank, the ammo is still kind of gonna 
gonna dig in, right? So you might think that you can fight lower caliber tanks and survive. Not really. I'm gonna I'm getting pinned by everything. Theoretically, it's possible to bounce some shells if you're at big distance and hide the huge lower plate, and they shoot you angled, but. It's also very easy to like hit this. I don't know if I can call it the commander satch. It's just really big and flat and has like 20 armor. It has 30 armor in the sides. I've gotten penned by Artie a lot. I mean, Artie's gonna pen you regardless where it hits you because you have no armor. And like I said, at least on the SDRVs, you had that fence, you know, in front. If Artie hits an SDRV, he usually hits that fence, you know, and. It doesn't pen you, but this, oh, it's a nightmare for Artie. It's a nightmare for anything with high explosive. So, yeah. It is very fast, though. Has good DPM outside of Siege Mode. I'm not happy with the 360 Alpha. And yeah, another issue with the tank, like I said, it's very bouncy. Like, it goes up and down like this, like crazy, you know, it's really hard to like get the gun to stop and a tier 9 strv is better than this tank i believe yeah i would much rather play a tier 9 strv yeah the only time this tank can maybe shine is if you play it without siege mode and try to be a bit aggressive if the situation allows it but <laughs> And not to mention, the shells are very slow. Another Wargaming Delicacy, 1480 velocity on paper. They're very slow. Basically, this standard shell is just as fast as the 1020 heat, so... You can maybe bully some light tanks or something with a high explosive. It's 120, but... <sighs> yeah. It is extremely hard to play. Extremely high skilled tank. And even if you are very high skilled, uh, you're not gonna get very good results in this. Oh, look. It's horrible. Like, I'm getting tier 7 stats in this. You know, it doesn't have any viewing, you gotta play it with optics. Yeah. And the tank, honestly, is definitely not worth 27 tokens or whatever it is. It's just not worth it. You're better off playing a K91, the TD. Right? There's not much I can say about this tank that is good. Not really. The tank would fit perfectly at tier 7, but at tier 9... <laughs> Honestly, like, there's just no redeeming features I can find. If this tank would not need siege mode, aka if I could get gun depression in, without siege mode, and the gun handling would be better, you'd basically have a tier 8 Kanone Panzer. If, okay, so if those things would happen, you would have a Kanone Panzer. And that is tier 8. So. My advice to you is don't get this thing. Because it is horrible. It is horrible. 